Next, I'll talk about some important properties of logarithms. And all of these properties follow from these two relationships. This, which I think of as the defining equation for what uh, the logarithm is, and then, then this, which is a property of exponents that follows immediately from the definition of exponents. So uh, let's start thinking about something like this. Log of 2 times 3. And yeah, that equals 6, but I'm going to leave that as 2 times 3. So what can we say about this? Well, according to this relationship, I know that 10 to the log of 2 times 3 equals 2 times 3. So I'm just replacing x with 2 times 3 in this relationship. But now, let's think about the number 2. I could say that 2 equals 10 to the log 2. So this is 10 to the log 2. And 3, what's that? Well, 3 is 10 to the log 3. So now I've got 10 to the something times 10 to the something else. So let's see, let me write this whole equation out. So the left-hand side, we started with 10 to the log of 2 times 3. <coughs> And that's got to be 10 to the log 2 plus log 3. So I can equate the exponents. 10 to this equals 10 to that. Well, then this and that have to be the same. So log 2 times 3 equals log 2 plus log 3. And in general, log a times b is log a plus log b. So that's a key property of logarithms that is super useful in all sorts of settings and that we'll use quite frequently. One more really important property of logarithms that I want to talk about. So let's think about something like this. Suppose I have log of 3 raised to the fourth power. What might that be? Well, 3 to the 4 means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that's log 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And according to this rule that uh, we just derived a few moments ago, log of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is log of 3 plus log of 3 plus log of 3. Logs turn multiplication into addition. So let's write this out. This is log 3 plus log 3 plus log 3 plus log 3. And 1, 2, 3, 4, what do you know? There are four of them. So, um, what have we got? We've got that log 3 to the 4 is 4 log 3. And we can generalize that by a similar argument that, say, log of x to the a is the same thing as a log x. Again, super, super useful relationship with logs. So that's one important formula or relationship for logs. Here's another that we um, derived previously. And let me just mention for the sake of completeness that log of a divided by b is log a 
minus log b. So, um, oh, and you can derive this last relationship follows immediately from, from these two. So um, these three properties of logs are really important. You'll need to use them when you're working with logs to solve equations and so on. So in the next quiz, you'll practice applying these various properties of logarithms.